Three more amiibo join the battle, including Banjo and Kazooie, Terry, and Byleth. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. It's always a great day when you get new amiibo to add to your collection or to use in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, I was able to get these actually one day early on the 25th, but they officially release on the 26th of March 2021. When I was talking to the store employees, they said that the most stocked one is Banjo and Kazooie, but that's probably also the most popular characters here. If you haven't played the games back on the N64, Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tsui, you really owe it to yourself to try them. They are fantastic collectathons, basically right up there with Super Mario 64. After that one being relatively well stocked and it still might sell out because the character is so well known they said that terry looks like it's probably the next well stocked and then byleth is probably going to be the rare one of these three but they really weren't sure i would expect both terry and byleth to probably be pretty rare overall byleth is the main character in three houses which is out on the switch when the character was announced a lot of people weren't sure about him as a dlc character because they kept saying that all the dlc characters everyone thought would be third Third party characters that everyone's so excited to see. We are maybe hoping for bigger things like Crash Bandicoot or maybe even Jack and Daxter or Master Chief and stuff like that. So essentially, these three are fantastic to finally get because most of these were announced over a year ago. And I have to say that the color scheme on these three looks really awesome. The box packaging looks great. They really upped their game in terms of the design of these amiibo. You have the red on the bottom here, which lets you know that it's either one, part of the DLC character set, or two, it's part of the re-released amiibo. The original didn't have the red here for the Switch. Nintendo went back to red design. Then in the background, the main color here is white, and then you get the Smash logo for all of these again letting you know that these are DLC characters. Alright, first of all, let's take a look at my favorite here that I'm really excited for and I've been waiting for a really long time for a high quality. This is high quality figurine. This is Banjo and Kazooie. There is another figurine of Banjo-Kazooie in existence. It's part of the same set that has Spyro and Crash Bandicoot, but this one honestly looks a lot better than it. First of all, I was a little bit concerned about the eyes on Banjo. I thought the images online looked a little bit off, but now that I have the figurine in my hands, it looks a lot better. And Kazooie on top there looks fantastic as well. So we'll open this up in a minute. On the back, you know exactly what you're getting for this, obviously. We do have some pictures of them right there, but you can use it and you can battle alongside your friends in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Let's actually open this up. I've got my X-Acto knife here. Now I'm going to try and keep these in pretty good condition, but like I said, I would love to get two of these, one to keep sealed. So now my job is tomorrow, or today I guess, when this video is being posted, is to see if I can try and find one to keep sealed in my collection, because I'm just finishing up my sealed collection of all of the Amiibo. I've been waiting for this for over a year. I'm sure a lot of people have. Come on, Banjo. Come on, Kazooie. I kind of expect to hear some like sound effects from them. This is such a neat figurine. They really did make the quality of these better and better over time. We can make this even better. Let's just have Banjo-Kazooie right there. That's the original game in the series. And then of course there was the sequel on the N64. You have Banjo-Tsooie. There is a third game that you can also get that's part of the home consoles. I'm not even going to talk about nuts and bolts. I really wish Banjo-3 was a thing and I wish it came out on the Nintendo GameCube. There's also some handheld games that you can get if you're really interested in the Banjo-Kazooie series. I think they're definitely playable. Now, let's take a look at this. I think the puzzle piece as the base is brilliant because obviously it's helping support Banjo's one foot. I love his paws. His belt looks fantastic as well. The detail on this really does look great. Let's just spin this around slowly just to give you an idea. Even the backpack that Kazooie's coming out of looks fantastic. Just to give you a shot of the back of this one right here. That looks so cool. I love the coloring of the feathers on Kazooie. That looks so neat. Kazooie, like, I would have thought Kazooie would have been such a pleasant character, but honestly, not really all the time. Kind of generally just makes fun of Banjo, but it, I love the games. It's such a solid collect-a-thon experience. Just to give you a better view of their eyes, I do think the eyes look a lot better, as I said. Even Kazooie's there. I love the pose. The pose just makes so much sense, and I know it's the Smash Brothers pose for these guys, but seriously, so well done, really intricate, love the design of this amiibo overall. Even the mouth 
is like three dimensional and the teeth, they nailed the teeth. Look at that. It's really hard to get a shot of the teeth, but you can just kind of see right there. Let me see if we can get on this side a little bit. The nose looks like it's a little bit almost blue. I've never noticed that the nose is supposed to be a little bit blue. The details that might easily go overlooked is on the side of Banjo's nose, there's all of these little dots right there. Maybe that's something to represent like whiskers or maybe it's just the design of the bear character. This one is four inches tall, which is roughly 10 centimeters. Overall, it's my favorite of the three. I've got to give this one 10 out of 10. I can't find flaws, and I'm honestly just so excited to add this to my collection and use it in the game, put it on my shelf, especially beside something like Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, and King K. Rule, other characters from the Rareware universe, all the way back to something like the Super Nintendo, the N64, and then onwards as well. So Banjo-Kazooie, huge thumbs up, looks fantastic. If you haven't played these games yet, definitely try and get out and play them. Up, let's take a look at Terry or Terry Bogart. He is from the Fatal Fury franchise. Now, this one I'm really quite impressed with. Yes, he looks ridiculously good. His muscles are bulging. Look at that hair, though. He's got flow. He's got his hat on. And honestly, the jeans and shoes look spot on. You can pretty much see his abs through his shirt, which we'll get through, too, as well. This is a character that was actually announced back in September 2019, I think. And then it was finally released November 2019. It's been like a year and a half. We've been waiting for these amiibo. It's been a really, really long time. Here's what the box back of the box looks like in case you're interested but let's actually open this up what really did shock me about this amiibo by the way is I thought Terry had some fire effects because with every punch and everything that he throws it looks like there's fire particle effects but actually all of his attacks are just normal he also is just a character that I'm not usually using all that often when I'm playing Super Smash Brothers, but every time I'm playing against him, it's always really difficult. In 1v1 matches, by the way, he always faces his opponents, which is kind of just like a cool, nice addition to a certain character. I feel like Sakurai is spending so much time on the DLC characters. Finally. Almost ASMR there with the sounds. All right, so here he is in the packaging. Now he does obviously have some supports here on his legs, but let's just take a good look up close and personal with Terry first. So this pose is really hard to see his face, of course. I think that's the whole idea here. You can just maybe take a glance of it if I move it like this a little bit better. But let's just take a round the world trip right here. Honestly, jeans look amazing. I love his vest too, his vest looks cool. And his muscles are just bulging all over the place. This guy is a lot of people's goal right now. If you could look like this, even his gloves. I love the pose. The pose looks really cool. Let's take a look at that hair, though. The flow of his hair is obviously not poseable. It is attached to his shoulder. Imagine having your hair permanently attached to the side of your shoulder here. Even, like, the way that his ripped shirt is right here. It almost feels spiky. Really well done. Look at the best part of this. On the hat, it says Fatal Fury with really small font, which is so cool. I love this one as well. The jeans, honestly, and the ripples look amazing on the jeans. I can't, I don't know. The quality of these went so far up over time. We have come a really long way since the Link yellow stand that existed. He has such a wide pose that the amiibo stand right here, they had to use some sort of support with this sort of character. So overall, in terms of height of this guy, let's just take a look really quick. I think he's around the same. They're all around four inches tall usually, which is right around 10 centimeters overall for these characters. If you haven't played the Fatal Fury franchise, here are just a few of the games, but honestly, he is in too many games for me to count. I think he's in 40 or 50 games probably at least in his franchise career, and Super Smash Brothers is very happy, I hope, overall to have this character added to the franchise. Such a cool figure. The shoes even look awesome. Overall, if you're a fan of this character, my only problem with this one is that it's so difficult to see Terry's face. He really, really big thumbs up, very high quality for this kind of figure. I love the pose overall. I'm just more in love with Banjo-Kazooie franchise than I am personally with Fatal Fury. I like collectathons a little bit more than the traditional fighting games, but that's just me. Up from the Fire Emblem franchise, specifically from the game Three Houses on the Nintendo Switch, this is Byleth. 
Now, this is a character that was announced January last year in 2020 and also released that same month. It is the last DLC character in Fighter Pass number one. Now, I was really surprised by this announcement. I thought most of the DLC characters would not be first party. I thought Sakurai hinted at that before. However, that being said, this character is perfect for my personal playstyle. I kind of really like a powerful character that's standing farther back, which has good range. So I'm actually going to use Byleth quite a bit. I'm more of a Marth main, kind of a Ike main overall. Let me know who your main is in Super Smash Brothers. However, also, I feel like we have enough characters from Fire Emblem at this point. There are so many, and I know Sakurai is obviously a huge fan of Fire Emblem. So this is what the back looks like. Let's actually open this up overall. And... I feel like we could get a lot of really interesting DLC characters, but having a protagonist from this kind of game, it does a few things, obviously. It also helps promote the game on the system. It really makes everyone talk about Three Houses all over again, and it really deserves to be talked about because it's such a good game. It is a game that I think a lot of people who like Persona, they'll love that game as well. I hope I'm not damaging this too much, but we're going to Get another copy of this, hopefully, to keep sealed one day. This one is probably, maybe going to be the rarer one. For anyone who's a fan of the game, they probably want to get one of these. And if you're a Fire Emblem fan overall, you probably want to get one of these too. So there it is, with the sword that is on fire. Literally. So many Smash Brothers characters are Fire Emblem characters, though. And all of them are sword characters, basically. Basically, they're all sword characters. I feel like we have at least six, seven, eight. Eight characters, now nine, I think, if you include the two Korins, player one, player two. There are so many of these from the Fire Emblem franchise, but I can understand why, because Sakurai, he just... He does what no one expects all the time. I wonder who we're going to get next in Smash Brothers. I really do. If you guys have any thoughts on that, please comment below. So the sword, they did a really good job here, kind of with this orange plastic flame on it. Blue hair, really popular with Fire Emblem characters. And a lot of Japanese characters in anime too usually have some sort of blue hair. So, so many layers of clothing. Even the same kind of symbols, of course, are all over his boots. He's got one knee guard on. I don't know if I've ever actually paid too much attention to that in Smash Bros. before. The cape looks very flowy. Almost reminds me a little bit of Joker's cape as well from this game. And the eyes on this one, they're kind of buried, put away a little bit. Kind of a little bit hard to see, but overall fine. Let's be serious though. If I had this character really far away... It'd be really hard to tell, is this Marth, is this Ike, is this Krom, what character is this from far away, other than the fact that the sword is on fire, and that's the dead giveaway for this kind of character. So another really solidly made figurine from Nintendo on this, I think it's kind of cool even that the hand is here with the glove, but then the cape is kind of flowing around in this way, and it's also holding the sword. That was a really clever design right here, to have the sword basically be more supported by the cape from his arm. That makes a lot of sense for this kind of amiibo. So like, I like this one, it's just not my personal favorite of the three, of course. And I actually think I'm going to be using this one quite a bit in the game. I do think I really want to try out Banjo-Kazooie, though. Overall, in terms of height for this one, it looks like it's probably the same. They're all around 4 inches tall. So 4 inches tall, 10 centimeters overall. Let me know what you think of Byleth, and Byleth especially, coming to Super Smash Bros. Have you played Three Houses yet? Because you definitely need to if you haven't tried it before. Welcoming more people to that franchise would really be a good thing overall time here's all three of them together i really can't speak highly enough about the detail of these characters it's really unfortunate that nintendo announces these characters and then we have to wait over a year for them to be released in physical form as an amiibo but i really think they're doing a good job with these because the detail really is incredible and yes it justifies the extra price that they're asking for they're not just figurines they do scan into your game so i understand the willingness of them to try and make sure that these look really good and last a really long time and they're going to hold up over time as well as opposed to a lot of the earlier ones that just weren't designed as well as these were i wonder what nintendo could do if they re-release some of the earlier ones that just looked a little bit weird overall and they are really releasing them anyways let me know what your thoughts are on these three amiibo. Also, who would you love to see next as part of our DLC? I really hope Sakurai doesn't stop in at maybe 90 or so characters. I hope he pushes a little bit longer and maybe releases 100 characters in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. 
I don't think he's ever going to be able to outdo himself the way that he has with these and then all of them in Super Smash Brothers. There's so many great series coming together. I just want him to go farther. Add in Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter, Master Chief, and I'm sure there's other ones that you could suggest as well. Thank you so much for watching the unboxing video of all three of these Amiibo. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I try to post videos on both Wednesdays and Sundays, generally at 10 a.m. Eastern time. You guys are awesome. Go collect them all. Keep smiling while gaming and go out there and try and get these. I hope you guys can get your hands on them just like I did.